Hey everybody, um, for those of you joining us, this hopefully is not the first and only, but the first of many, uh, live kind of podcast talks from the psych spot. I'm Jay Brixby, and I'm a psychologist. I treat mostly men. I do treat some women. Uh, trauma and addiction is what I do, along with relationships, careers, and a lot of other things. But mostly those few things. And this is my wife, Courtney. I drug her into this, and so she's going to be in a good sport. It's our... We're totally on a date. Yeah. We're totally on a date. So, depending upon where you're watching, if you'd like, you probably... We'd love for you to subscribe to the Psych Spot if you're not already. And so, Court's gonna. Please feel free to share it, depending upon when you're like uh, watching now or in the future. That'd be rad. So, what we're gonna talk about tonight is relationships um, and five ways, at least, um, where we're gonna start is five ways to stay close and improve your marriage or relationship. Here. Give an intro to us. To us? Yeah. Um, we've been, uh, we both grew up in Washington, Western Washington. We have been married for 13 years next month. We have four kids. Um, oldest is seven, youngest is one. 16 months in a couple days. Yep. All of them, unfortunately, brilliant monsters and. But, fortunately. Unfortunately, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they're rad. Um, so <laughs> we're gonna try and interact with those who are watching now. Um, definitely feel free to like and share this if you find it entertaining or useful. <laughs> Hopefully, it's both. Um, Ready to start? Yeah. So let's go. Okay. So the first thing you're gonna have, Courtney makes me both one more what did I say more <laughs> more real I think those of you who I work with are gonna go that's how Jay really is um, because my wife all the time so my wife's here to kind of legitimate le make me legitimate um, and she keeps me in line so again if you're just joining us Welcome, uh, happy to have you. This is our date night and we're talking about relationships. So um, this is pretty cool, I'm excited. So the first thing we wanna talk about, this goes along with a talk we've given once before and um, blog post from a, a blog ago. post from a couple of years ago that's done really well on my website. You can Google it, um, just Jay Brooksby on Google. J. Brooksby Therapy, the my webs, spot. what my website or the Psych Spot. So Psych, short for Psych, uh, Psychology. Um, anyway, the Psych Spot .com. and the title is Ten Ways to Get Closer. Ten Ways to Get Closer. We're gonna kind of shorten that and make that. We don't want to take the whole evening or much of your time, but um, so we're gonna kind of pair. It's ten ways, but we're gonna pick our favorite five. five. Favorite five, starting with. Touch. Touch. When, when we, we like we like to touch, <laughs> <laughs> but and hopefully you guys do too. Why? But it's I mean it's not just it's more than like that. It's fun, right? No, I mean, no, no. It it helps when we got married. Our sealer, the the guy who performed our marriage, mm -hmm. we've known him for a long time. He's, he was my pediatrician growing up. But anyways, one of his uh, pieces of advice for us was touch. He said touch a lot. And. Um, which is something uh, maybe a little funny to hear during a wedding, but um, at least we laughed. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then even at the end, you know, after we're after we're married, he he tells us to you know kiss the bride. Yeah. We <laughs> we, we you know we kiss, kiss very politely, trying to be polite, don't want to make out in front of everybody. And then he says, "No, do it again. Do it again. Do it better." Um. <laughs> so we did it again. <laughs> and um, I guess the reason we included it in the article and still today, um, I guess I'll uh, share the car story. 
Sure. I don't know what car story you're talking okay. about, but go for it. It surprises Courtney every time I tell the story. Okay, so the reason touch is important and a useful tool when we're talking about relationships is because often I'm as stubborn as I can be, I'm going to be ready to touch court way sooner than I am going to be able to say, to talk and say, I'm sorry, I was a total jerk and I didn't mean that. So one day, I don't know what we've been fighting about. <laughs> not, not like it's a regular occurrence or anything, but it is because we're, you know, on the planet with all of you. Um, so we were in the car. She was upset at me probably because I said something stupid. And I was mad. Um, both of us were pretty mad. And I couldn't say, I'm sorry, because I was, I need her. She's my oxygen. And thankfully, because this was like at least 10 years ago. Did you say we're going to have our 13th? Uh-huh. Been together 13 years. Next month. Today. What? It's yeah. the 21st. Yeah, it's the 21st. Happy Elmer's anniversary. How romantic. <laughs> okay. So anyway, I'm angry and I... In the car driving, I just put my hand over on her, and that was the—that's an example of kind of what we're talking about when we say touch. Um, we're trying to avoid not getting eaten by bugs. <laughs> For you, so that's a little bit of what I mean when I say touch is important. What? It's important for. Um, uh when you're repairing when yeah. you have I mean when you've had a fight but I just think just on a daily thing a daily basis you know just if I'm busy with the kids or stressed out from whatever's going on in the day it makes such a huge difference if he just comes up and just hand on my back or hands on my shoulders or you know just or sitting at the dinner table with the kids and any of you mm -hmm. who have kids know that dinner time is not always a glorious experience you know with little kids um it just you know reach over and put his hand on my leg you know like any kind of a small touch just makes me turn towards him, just kind of brings the heart rate down a little, or, you know, just yeah. kind of grounds me and Yeah, helps so outside me. of conflict, it's, it's important for us. Um, a lot of the guys I work with, you would be surprised, you, it would, when I talk about touch, non-sexual touch, which is what we're talking about, because we gotta be in, that's, we have to be careful for making it sexual, to don't make, you think? To make it not, you mean? Yes, to make it not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're pretty good at making it sexual, like any of it um, can be. But, <sighs> shoot, <laughs> derailed. Anyway. You said guys would be surprised like when you're talking to them about touch. Often they don't touch. They're not touching their wives, partners, you know, girlfriends outside of sex, outside of making out, outside of, uh, usually their coming goings don't include touch or when things are not going well, they're not touching very much. Mm -hmm. So the things I always ask are, you know, when you say goodbye, what are you doing? Are you kissing? Are you going to hug. her? Is it a wave from like across the room and like, ah, see you tonight? Are you, when you come back, to get when you meet, whether it's lunchtime or after work, or... after work, are you go are you going to her? Are you pursuing her? Are you touching her? And what's that look like after sex? Are you sit? Are you you know? Are you ejecting? Getting out? Are you just onward and upward? Um, it's a big indicator of kind of the quality of the relationship. Yeah? Yep. Ready for number two? Let's do number two. Okay, so touch a lot. Dream. Dream. I don't think people set big enough goals uh, together as a couple. Dream big enough. To dream big enough. Um, John Gottman's one of my favorite, our favorite uh, couples people. He's a research, researcher at University of Washington. He is, he's done epic research on couples for like the last 30 years and he's tracked couples for that long uh, from the beginning of the relationship to you know end stages of relationship um, and he he points this out as one of the fundamentals of 
developing, maintaining a happy, healthy relationship. Um, for us, recently, we've kind of been doing this. Yeah. We rent a house right now, and we don't want to rent forever. <laughs> um, do you want to talk about that? What we're doing to kind sure. of sure. We, I mean, dream big. We're we're not ready to buy a house yet, but we're looking to the future. And Dave's always looking at land. He wants lots of land, and so there's been a couple of uh, lots for sale recently in this area. And so mm -hmm. he took us around, took us on a drive to show us, you know, what he'd been looking at and talking about what we could do with it and then coming home and talking about what kind of house we might want to build and um, it, it, it got us both really excited and yeah. got us, you know, thinking about the same thing and have something to talk about and mm -hmm. something to think about and he thinks and dreams a lot bigger than I do and I think we have good balance in that, in that way because I think if it wasn't just, for him, mm. I, would, I would just play it safe, you know, go small, she keeps just, us grounded. just what we need, you know. Um, so he encourages me to dream bigger, and I bring a little bit of yeah, grounding to that. But yeah, but, but it's fun. It's it, it it's something that has brought us together. Yeah, and it adds a lot of intention to your relationship. Where again, if you're not kind of routinely kind of revisiting, hey, I, how's this going? What do you want? Is this mm -hmm. enough for you? And when, <laughs> are we on the same page anymore? Yeah, are we on? Are we on the same page? Are we on the same team? Would you pick me again? Why? Why would you pick me again? I don't want to be a disappointment. Um, I think one of the critical points of this, this can be, like, to kind of take it a step further and to make it more practical, uh, our analog was taking you to out to the lots. I had got super excited about a couple of places and I took her I was like, Courtney I want, I, I'm very excited. I want to show you. And she could tell I was excited because I was like, <laughs> and um, I, it was like a Tuesday Monday afternoon, Tuesday afternoon I said, I want to take you. Get the, load the kids. I'm coming home. And she said, okay. Um, we went out and you were really good because the one place is pretty Jungle-y still. Jungle. You know, <laughs> stinging nettle and blackberries, and she's like in flip-flops, and I didn't have to carry her into the place, but we climbed this, we hike up this little bit, and anyway, I really liked it. It was fun. Well, and it made me feel loved. Good. Yeah. Good. Um, <laughs> the, other, the other kind of end of that was then, so we, because she did, she echoed my exact dream. She's like, I love it. I want to I build it. Um, I'm, and she had, uh, there's, there's few things that make me love you more than when you go. When I get as excited as you are about something. Uh -huh. yeah. You're <laughs> like, it doesn't happen we lot. have the same dream. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Typically he gets way more excited about anything, any subject than I do. Yeah. But yeah. Um, fun. yeah. And then we kind of went on to. Extending that and looking at house plans. Looking at house plans and, and just having a good time. And that's hard to find and maintain if, uh, I'd say, outside of, like, really lovey-dovey, Twitter-pated, honeymoony honey stage. Um, it's a way to kind of... Connect again. Keep, connect again. Keep yeah. the fires burning. <laughs> Turn up the heat. Okay. Number three. Number three. Date. Date. Um, you want to take this one? Sure, I'll start sure. it anyways. I just... Um, what do we mean by... In, by date, we... I mean, you don't have to spend a lot of money. No. Nope. We, we, you know, when we don't want to pay a babysitter or... Lots of times we can't or, find a babysitter. Right. Or break the bank. Um we just do stuff together at home, but I think it's just about setting aside time intentionally, mm -hmm. doing something intentionally, not just ending up on the couch together watching whatever's on, because that happens a lot anyways, yep. um, but Netflix. saying, tonight's date night, what are we doing together, being yeah. intentional about it, you know, Yeah. and putting your phones away is important yes. to make it a date too. That, that, and, a, and a treat. Yeah. A treat. Yeah. Part of the... Like, we almost always have a treat. Yes. Something going in my mouth. <laughs> Makes it special. <laughs> yes. Donuts. 
Sundays, pizza, snacks. Um, but to do it regularly, we can definitely tell. I think when it's been too long, like we haven't, yeah, we haven't had a date in a while. We need to have a date. Yeah, and it makes a difference. Yeah. So this is our date tonight. Yeah. Because we couldn't find it. Because <laughs> we couldn't find a babysitter again. <laughs> We're just well, our favorites were taken. To be honest, we could, but and we have babysitters that we adore. But okay. and this is good. Yeah. Um. Because we wanted to do this anyway. So. There's nothing. Another thing I wanted to add to that. Um. Because a lot of what I talk about, uh, with clients at least, is making things. We can do a lot by making it intentional. And so what I was going to say about um, how we arrange, how we do this, mm -hmm. um, I will kind of like with a text or a phone call, um, maybe first thing in the morning, uh, it'll be kind of one of these, again, touches involved, and I'll say, what do you want to do? To, do you have something you have to do tonight? And she'll probably say, I got to do this, this, and this. <laughs> and I, oh, I'm like, okay, I, I have stuff to do too. <laughs> like play, yeah, video games or do paperwork. But after that, can we, you know, X, Y, Z, um, whether it's watch a show, do we have a treat, can we or rent a movie, because we don't do that too often, yeah. and that turns it into a date for us. The other thing, I think one of our most epic recent dates, though, was buying ball gloves. Yeah, and going to the park and playing catch. Yep, yep, so it was really fun. that was something, because novelty is super important, um, it's really important to have fun, the yes. purpose is to connect mm -hmm. by having fun, laughing together, um, doing our best not to talk about our kids. <laughs> Don't you think? I think so. We, I mean, because that's mainly... I mean, it's kind of par for the course, but it's about yes. this. <laughs> Come on, like, you know? Um, anything else? You should date a lot. Be creative, novelty, make it new, Be exciting, fun, yeah, and, and plan it. Um, play was going to be the next one. We kind of led into that with, with the uh, yeah with um, playing catch. Yeah, um, riding the tube together behind my dad's boat. Okay, yeah, I think I think it's worth play. I think it's, it's worth it's talking real about. Similar. It's different. Um, it's different enough because. Okay, so talk about the boat. Tell that. Um, my dad has a boat. We've always had a boat growing up, and uh, one of the things that Jay and I always have fun doing, and we don't get to do it a ton, mm -hmm. um, is tubing together. Mm -hmm. We had a family reunion a couple weekends ago, and we rode the tube together, and it had been, I, you know, over a year, and it was just really fun. Made a purpose to it. Yeah. And we goof. I mean, I was goofing around. He, yeah, he can't help it. Was it was tubing. Come on. That's really fun. Yeah. So, um, we enjoy board games we enjoy again throwing the ball mm -hmm. in the past I taught snowboard lessons in college and so we had like snowboarding three or four nights a week that was really fun. Um, definitely on the weekend that was a, a blast mm -hmm. um, I think there's just a lot that can be done to spend time everybody thinks you have to have so much in common and I don't know that that's the case as long as you can enjoy doing some things together. Just doing stuff together. Yeah. And it's fun. Yeah. Some of our, you thought it was so weird. One of the first dates I took her to Ikea. Yeah, um, I just met her, basically. <laughs> and I'm like, you want to go to Ikea? I was like, what? Sure. <laughs> so you can play yeah, doing fun. a lot of things. That You're, you're right. That's kind of correlated with dating. But anyway, play. Yeah. And then pray. Pray. Whether... Uh, it may be a strange thing to hear a psychologist say, but faith, pray just because it makes sense with play and all this other stuff for the blog, um, essentially spirituality is a really big deal. A huge contributor to well-being and a contributor to relationships. To share it. Yeah. The big five. I guess I could say the big five. So if you want to know what people argue about most... Money. Parenting, sex, money, religion. Uh, there's another one in there. I don't know. 
Oh, my brain cramped. Anyway. Um, Religion's in there. Religion is in there and faith, spirituality. If you attend a church regularly or if you don't, engaging in a person's, uh, having a shared understanding of spirituality and faith and then um, practicing, practicing you know, as long as your behavior matches your values, you're going to be better off. And if you can, again, sync those values as a couple, it makes a huge huge difference yeah we pray together every night before we go to bed and it's always good for us and on yeah. the off chance that we are in a disagreement at bedtime yeah it's always a lot softer by the time we're done praying so yeah yeah it's always good for us so go to church believe um i think it is one of those if people aren't going to church or have a specific spiritual belief i think it's it's for those reasons it's pretty taboo um, it's hard to talk about. Talk about it, yeah. Um, when I, I just visited with a guy today who their divorce was primarily a function of him feeling like she wanted this church-going man, this spiritual leader, and that he, even after attempts, had felt like he wasn't going to ever be able to pull that off enough for her, and uh, it ended the it ended the relationship for them. Like, holy, just whew, because of spirituality. So, getting aligned on that is pretty important. It helps. Oh, yeah. yeah. Huge, <laughs> huge, 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 huge. And if you do share beliefs, easy peasy. Mm -hmm. well, what else? That's, that's five. Okay, so let's just pause. If you have questions, please comment. Write them in the comments. Mm -hmm. If you're here... Give us a like, because we actually don't know if this is working. <laughs> Hopefully it is. It will be on the page. I think it is, because I see you in there, but everyone's quiet. Nobody's doing nothing. So... It's okay, this is the first one. It is a first one, but I'm, I will be a little upset. <laughs> if none of you people that I know and love interact here. So, ask some questions. Tell us what your favorite um, in the comments. Oh, there's, there's a, I saw it, a like. It's cute. They like float across the screen. Tell who it was. You don't know who it was. Um. Okay, in the comments, write favorite favorite way to stay close as a couple. If you're in a couple now, if you're coupled, <laughs> right? Yeah. We do have a bonus. We will give a bonus. Yeah. Tonight, um, after, when we were about ready to put our kids in bed, Jay turned on some home videos. and So we were watching some videos of when the kids were really little. And, um, you know, you look at how cute they were. Not that they're really grown now. I mean, our oldest is only seven, but when the older ones were little toddlers. And they were so cute. And we were laughing and having a good time watching videos. And um, it, it makes you, you know, it makes you look at those little munchkins a little bit more adoringly than you had maybe the minute before. And so we're just talking about remembering. Yeah. You know, try yeah. to spend time Here, here, looking. here. Before we do that, because okay. Elisa says laugh a lot. And that's... Yes. That is good. And she has a husband that is good to laugh at. I mean, laugh with. <laughs> He's one of my best friends, so I can say that. <laughs> um, here, touch that so it wakes up again. Okay. I think laughing is, in, humor is incredibly, incredibly important. Whenever I just, I will often stop in the middle of nothing and often it gets me kicked in the teeth when I'm in, in like a really serious, I mean something, somebody just died and I, and I, I'll make a joke and my, uh, and I clean it up and say, <laughs> no, this is important. Come on, wake up here. Um, humor's incredibly important. What else? Ah. Right no, no, no. There was something else. No. no, there's not. It's okay. Okay. But yeah, so... This so is remember. Remembering. This is the bonus. This is number six. Yeah. When, when talking about fun things you've done together, looking back at pictures from fun times you've had together, remembering the good times is very, very valuable, I think. It yeah. helps. It puts you in a... A little bit more of a, I don't know. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so again, we were doing that. I turned on 
videos because one of our uh, kids li literally was born in a blizzard in North Dakota and um, I wanted to share, tell Cooper, like, here, here's the blizzard, he was watch! Asking, he was asking questions about where we lived when he was born or yeah. something like that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we turn on this stuff and eventually, of course, it's our little 18-month-old at the time talking for the first time and dancing and saying things funny me, and I look over and see Courtney with one of my favorite favorite looks on her face and you rarely look cuter <laughs> than when you're that happy because you. yeah it's it's so good so if it's um I mean we have Facebook now I know and that yeah, that's one really easy. Way so to do it. easy. Look back at photos with our phones. Yeah, looking at photos. Um, it's hard, sometimes hard to remember the good times, especially during if there's a conflict at the time. Yeah, but um, just when it's busy, just life is crazy. No, we are anyway. we're way too busy. So that's the bonus. Remember this the is, good times. Yeah, remember the good times. Um, hopefully, this has been useful. We appreciate you guys showing up, being part of this. If you're watching live. Um, Court and I are gonna, we're gonna do this. Yep. We're committed. We are. She was terrified. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> terrified. It wasn't that bad. Mostly, here's, to be on. this is, to be absolutely frank, she was nervous not knowing what I was gonna say. <laughs> so, not what she was gonna say or how she would even look. It was what I was gonna say, so, right? I, yes. Yes. That. Yes. He can surprise me. He surprises me a lot. Well, so that's important for everybody to know. I tell people that all the time. Stop trying to figure me out. My wife doesn't need. She can't even do it. And we've been married. So you just said it. Okay. Love it. Um, so please uh, feel free to share this. We're gonna um, news kind of forthcoming. We're gonna be moving to a new location. Um, the business. The business Not is gonna family. be. Yeah. <laughs> The business, the psych spot, is going to be moving just north on Meridian, just a little ways, in and uh, in, in September, hopefully, and um, we'll have a space. It'll be rad, so we'll be doing these regularly. Um, from there in the future. From there in the future, and giving live talks, so people will be in attendance, and we'll be talking about relationships, I, I assume, a lot more. Yeah. Careers, trauma, a lot about ADHD. Um, trauma yeah. uh, going forward so we appreciate all of you um, you make this possible because we we rely on you for our livelihood so um, yeah. you're special to us um, anyway I think that's it that's it any questions it it's your last chance <laughs> okay nothing that's all right it's a wrap uh, look for more and uh, please if you're listening or watching in the future um, we would love to have questions and ideas for future videos videos thanks guys okay